The Brainerd girls basketball team is 6-2 on their season so far and remain undefeated in conference play. And while they bring back a majority of their team from last year, they still have areas they can improve on. Taylor Archer has more. While there wasn't much time to celebrate last night's win over St. Cloud Tech, as the Warriors had an early practice the next morning to get ready for another game tomorrow night. Today we're kind of relaxed. Um, we are just going to work on some things that we need to tweak to get ready for Buffalo on Thursday. Uh, the main key is going to be to keep our legs and make sure we're rested. So uh, it's a big section game for us on Thursday. Because this is an experienced team, the Warriors know that their ability to play together trumps any individual talent. We've come together as a team. Now I think if we work together, that's when good things happen. And when we start working as individuals, that's when we break apart. And with experience comes the wisdom of knowing where improvement is needed. We need to continue defensively getting better. Um, we sometimes play very well defensively, and sometimes we have some mental lapses, so it's getting rid of those mental lapses. And then on offense, we have to use movement to get open, and uh, sometimes we get caught standing, and when we move, we're pretty good. Brainerd isn't the tallest team in their section, but they're confident that their speed will make up for their height. We like to push the ball up since we have no height very much. And yeah, it's just, we like to run. With that in mind, the Warriors are preparing for a section game tomorrow night against Buffalo. Coming into that section game, uh, make sure we're as prepared as we can mentally and physically we're as rested as we can be. And the Warriors hope to improve their section and regular season record overall. In Brainerd, Taylor Archer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.